We were waiting for this day for a long time. You might even say years. It began with over 200 big cats owned by Tiger King's notorious Joe Exotic. Most in tiny cages, most breeding year-round to create more cubs for cub petting profit, many sold to other roadside attractions. By the time the final seizure of big cats took place in May of 2021, there were only 68 cats remaining on the property. These cats had recently been moved from Joe Exotic's GW Zoo, taken over by Jeff and Lauren Lowe, to a new property in Thackerville, Oklahoma. Social media posts talked about how it would be the best state-of-the-art tiger park in America. It wasn't. It took the coordination of multiple sanctuaries, the USDA, and the Department of Justice to remove 68 big cats in just 48 hours. Dozens of U.S. Marshals were on site with trailers, UTVs, weapons, and cameras to ensure safety of the rescuers during the transfer. We agreed to take in cats we had open habitat space for. The cats we took in were living in cramped conditions. We certainly didn't want them to have to do it again while we built new enclosures. Our goal was to ensure that the cats we rescued could move out to large, spacious habitats as soon as their quarantine period was over. We knew that, and between all the reputable sanctuaries, that all of the cats would have homes. No big cat would be left behind. Thankfully, the pickup, transport, and unloading all went smoothly. Once here, all of the cats had intake exams, blood work, and vaccinations at our own cost. We wanted to ensure we had a baseline information about their health. We were not allowed to share certain information about their stories for fundraising while the case was active. That means, for the last 15 months, your support helped us cover the costs of their habitats, daily food, and husbandry enrichment, and heated indoor spaces. But just like the residents you already know, these cats receive the individualized care and love every resident receives here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. Of all the cats, our main concern was for Alyssa, who had mentally shut down. She was quite aggressive at the property and was housed alone. She was mentally dull and would stare right through us, not acknowledging our presence. Our hearts went out to her. We vowed to make life so much better for her, and we have. Here at the sanctuary, Alyssa is very kind and calm to other cats. She loves having a roommate or neighbor she can interact with. Since she's arrived, Alyssa has lived with male lion Chapino and then Wally until both geriatric boys passed. Now, she keeps Young Lion Gino company. What's her favorite time of day? Feeding time for sure. Alyssa is very serious and excited about feeding and can never seem to get enough. One day, she'll realize she never has to worry about food again. Here, she'll always have whatever she likes. Alyssa may be a lieliger, but she's still a lion at heart. She loves to drink out of her pool, but she never goes in like the tigers do. And she doesn't roar like the lions around her either. 
she truly is caught between two worlds. Though Alyssa has had a rough start in life, with your support, her best days are now those yet to come. Lion sisters Alana and Aurora are two three-year-old white lions. They've been living in a small 1,100 square foot cage, most of it consisting of a suspended two-story walk. These girls have a diamond facial structure and deep inset crossed eyes, sure signs of inbreeding. Sadly, they were bred for what humans consider beauty, with no concern for the genetic issues that can cause lifelong health issues for them. Seeing these girls explore their new, grassy, tree-filled, free-roaming habitat brought tears to our eyes. They explored with no hesitation at all. These young girls are full of energy, just like our bobcat sisters Sky and Celine, but with a little less coordination. Aurora has a more angular face with very crossed eyes. During her time at the sanctuary, she's already had several vet procedures to remove fast-growing masses from under her tongue and on her lip. Thankfully, the biopsy showed they were benign, but these growths can also be caused by a virus that can be recurring and even life-threatening if it affects too much of the cat's tongue. The Department of Justice did indeed cover the out-of-pocket costs for the biopsies performed. Aurora also arrived with regular blood values which corrected after receiving proper care here at the sanctuary. Sister Alana has straight wrinkles that help identify her. She's often the first to approach her caretakers. She's a goofy girl and loves to play with her sister. Although we know with her playfulness, it's just predator practice. And it can be difficult to get photos of these two because her and her sister always come up to the fence line to greet us. Alana is Aurora's protector. She investigates new situations before her sister Aurora will follow. She's brave at her core. She'll be the lion running around in the snow while others stay inside because they don't want to get their feet wet. Alana is also very intrigued by every other cat at the sanctuary. She keeps her eye on neighbor lions Kimba and Sophie, as well as tigers Simon and Jeremy across the way. She and her sister like all of the seasons. In the summer, they can be found on the tall perches and platforms that dot their free-roaming habitat. In the winter, they're chasing each other, romping through the snow. And during the evenings, they can be found lying together in their indoor bedrooms. When he first arrived, it was evident Thor Jr. was just trying to figure out who he was. He played like a kitten one minute, then wanted to be large and in charge the next. He did find one thing scary about his new life here at the sanctuary, and that was Tiger Cub Dash. When he met Dash across the hallway in their indoor bedroom areas, he was fearful and let out a big hiss. He isn't aggressive, he just has a lot of energy. Cats can be so unpredictable in their likes and dislikes, and Thor Jr. certainly proves that. Thor Jr., along with the other Tiger King rescues, benefited from trust-building exercises by enjoying smaller food chunks while staying in the proximity of the designated caretaker. His favorite stalking position is from his pool during the summer, and behind a snow pile in the winter where he thinks he has the best advantage. During those summer months, Thor Jr. loves using his big ball as a flotation device in his pool. Go, He'll lay on it and bob in the water until he falls asleep. He falls asleep. Yeah. Now, Thor Jr. is finally able to live wild at heart, with tons of room to roam and so much to keep his daily life interesting and something to look forward to. This is the life he always deserved, and we're so happy we've been able to provide that for him with your help. With their introduction complete, we can now officially and publicly welcome Alyssa, Alana, Aurora, and Thor Jr. into our Wild at Heart family. A family where each cat is special with its own unique needs. Thanks to your support, these cats will never have to live in substandard conditions again. They will never be bred, sold, traded, or put on display. Now, their daily lives are about them and guaranteeing their happiness through compassionate care at the Wildcat Sanctuary.